employees provident fund organization ministry of labor and employment government of india subject special drive for updation of pending dlcs through newly recruited ssas regarding madam sir as you are aware all pensioners under employees pension scheme 1995 are required to update their life certificate lc within one year from the date of last submission of their life certificate jeevan praman accordingly pensioners will have to submit their life certificate or jeevan praman during the same month in the next year also failing which pension would be stopped from the succeeding month however it has been observed that 4,49,288 number of life certificates are pending for updation as on 19-6-2023 for more than 3 years. Updation of life certificates in our application software is important for ensuring continued disbursement of pension without any stoppage or breaks and to avoid any undue harassment or problems for the pensioners. In light of the significantly large number of digital life certificates DLCS pending for updation for more than three years, it is imperative to initiate proactive actions for bridging the gap of pensioners who are not receiving pension by updating DLCS pending for more than three years. To this end, a month-long special drive is initiated from 26-2024 where newly recruited social security assistants SSAs will visit the concerned pensioners under the guidance of their mentors to provide doorstep services to pensioners using this app and facilitate submission of pending DLC. The detailed process for the said drive is as below. Creating of groups. Each group of up to 10 SSAs would have one mentor of AO or EO level who will guide them in their field visit. 2. Identification of pending DLCs. Regional offices will compile list of DLCs that have been pending for more than 3 years through MIS 3.0 this list should include relevant details such as pensioner's name, address, contact information and the duration of pending DLC. The list may be sorted PIN code wise. 3. Training and Guidance The nodal officers will train and guide the newly recruited SSAs and equip them with the necessary skills and knowledge to effectively communicate with pensioners and process to update the DLCs 
online it may be ensured that the assigned ssas are as much as possible well versed with the local language of the area 4 assignment of ssas nodal officer would assign pin code wise areas to be visited by ssas each ssa is expected to visit at least 50 pensioners in a week ssas will schedule visits to the pensioners address in the assigned area under the guidance of their nodal officers 5 execution of visits coordination with pension dispersing banks firstly ssas will approach the pension paying branch of the banks and seek the following relevant details in respect of whereabouts of the pensioners status of account active or closed month of last transaction status of pensioner if intimation of death recorded address of the pensioners as per records contact number of pensioner and nominee family members visit to pensioners regional offices will provide required logistical support including vehicles to the officials deputed for this work during the visits ssas will meet with the pensioners and or their family members and assist them in completing the necessary documentation and procedures to update their pending dlcs they will also address any queries or concerns raised by the pensioners regarding the process there may be three scenarios if pensioner is found at their given address his or her dlc shall be submitted using umang app in case of failed biometric authentication for dlc physical life certificate may be obtained in case the pensioner is not found at given address the neighbors or sarpanch or local governance officials may be contacted to get the whereabouts of the pensioner and his or her family if information on new address is obtained the same shall be recorded in case it is found that pensioner is no more the details of family would be recorded and necessary action to ensure start of family pension to eligible member shall be taken by pension section of the concerned regional office if there is no eligible person for family pension the same shall be recorded recording expenses regional offices shall record the total cost incurred during the execution of this task including ta da transportation accommodation if applicable and administrative expenses examination of rejections in the event of any rejection of dlc updation 
the assigned nodal officer shall thoroughly examine the reasons of rejection and provide necessary input to the pension section to rectify the issues monitoring each regional office shall submit a detailed weekly report to the zonal office outlining the following outcomes of the initiative number of ppos where pensioner is found and dlc updated number of ppos where pensioner is not found alive number of ppos where pensioner is not found and new address taken if available total expenses incurred under each category in 9 a challenges faced suggestions all zonal offices shall further submit a monthly consolidated action taken report to the head office along with their inputs comments suggestions to headquarters zonal offices are requested to forward the details of the nodal officers for each ro in the format given below ro wise list of nodal officers serial number regional office name of nodal officer designation mobile number number of mentees new ssas in ro this issues with the approval of acc headquarter pension your sincerely aprajita jaggal additional central pf commissioner pension